Howdy, folks. I'm Brian. I'm Amber. You liar. You said you were Brian. I was saying your intro. You were saying, you said, uh, you said, hello, folks, I'm Brian. And I'm like, I'm Brian. And then you're like, uh, what? What? People, I'm Brian. And that's Brian. And here's I'm some. Amber. <laughs> and here's, so almost read it. So I was browsing the internet today and I came across this. I think they won the internet today. So I'm going to read it to you. It's from Freddy Boop at I Miss the Days. I am very, very sick, but a neighbor just rode his bike down the street screaming, we are not getting any more animals while being chased by his three small children on their decreasingly small bikes who kept chanting, hamster, hamster, hamster. And I had to share. <laughs> oh, the visual is just amazing there. I. It sounds like a cult, the cult of the hamster. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, just remember, you might have had a bad day, but at least you didn't have a being chased by three small children chanting <laughs> hamster bad day. <laughs> Our first story is titled, Am I a jerk for dropping off my freeloading brother at our aunt's house after she called and scolded me for evicting him? My older brother, Obi, is a bit of a bum. I mean... It's, it's mean to say, but it's true. He can never hang on to a job for longer than a couple of years max. And when he inevitably loses whatever job he had, he starts mooching off of family and friends until he can find another job months later. This, hey, OP, at least he finds another job. <laughs> there are some people I've heard on these Reddit stories where they're like, Five years I I asked my, my brother asked me if I could take him in, and then five years later he's still sitting in my on my couch in the exact same position that he was. Um, and today I decided to kick him out. Am I a jerk? <laughs> so at least that's not this situation. This entails him freeloading at their place, eating their food, using their stuff, etc. He lost friends because of how long he bumped off of them, and I don't blame them for cutting him off. Well, this last time he lost his job, he went to our parents, but they didn't have any room because they were letting our eldest brother's family stay with them after he and his sister-in-law lost their jobs out of nowhere within the same of month. We're going to just call them Eb and Ob. So Eb's entire crew was laid off with zero warning and sister-in-law's work burned down. Wow. Wow, that was unexpected. That's, that's a problem. And they couldn't afford the home they were renting anymore. So Ob was pretty much S-O-L. For those who are not into the terminology, that means soil under load. So our parents, aunt, and <laughs> so our parents, aunt and uncle all started calling me, asking me if I would take him in just long enough so that he could get on his feet again. I stupidly let myself feel bad for him and said, okay. And he had only a few months to get another job, and then he was out on the street again. They all said, of course, of course. So he came to stay with me. He was a nightmare. He's a slob. He never washes dishes. He never washes his clothes. And he eats pretty much whatever he wants. I guess since I'm his little sister, he figured that he could ignore me, saying to get his stuff together. Well, after six months, I told him that he had to go and gave him a couple weeks to find somewhere else. Well, it seems he called her parents and cried about me kicking him out and told him that he knew he couldn't stay forever. But of course, they called my aunt and uncle and told them all about it. And my busy buddy aunt called me and scolded me, saying that I was cruel to my brother and abandoning my family when they needed help. I let her talk, and I finally said that she was right. Helping family was important, and I'm glad that she showed me that. She seemed glad, and that I understood the right thing to do before hanging up. So I followed her advice, I packed up my brother, and I drove him to her house. Ah, ah. Well played, OP. Well played. I couldn't take care of him anymore. He was running up all of my bills. But my aunt made a good point. Family should help each other. So I dropped him off there. And she has a lot of room since her kids all moved out and then left. But I wasn't even halfway home before I was getting multiple calls from my parents and aunt. 
Parents were demanding to know why my aunt was blowing up their phone, and aunt was leaving voicemail shouting at me to come back and get my brother. I explained to my parents, and they said it was a good idea since the aunt sounded like she wanted help, but my aunt called me a jerk and said that she didn't want my brother there. And when I told her family helps each other, she called me a C word. <laughs> Last I checked, he's still living with her. Am I the jerk? Sorry for my lack of response, I answered ones that I could before I left for work, and when I got back, I had far too many to answer. Lots of people have been asking similar questions, so I thought answering them all here once would be helpful. One, my brother does not have any menial jobs. He's not hopping from one job, minimum wage job to another. He's working very good paying jobs, like electronic repair, automotive maintenance, etc. He's very skilled, but very lazy. Two, no, my aunt hasn't spoken to me since she called me a C word and then hung up on me. Three, my brother has only been with her for about three weeks. He stayed with me six or seven months when they originally said like three. My brother was upset that I was kicking him out initially, but in a better mood when he realized that he had another place lined up for him to stay. Not sure how they're doing since I haven't talked to either since I dropped him off. And five, no, my aunt isn't married anymore. Her and my uncle got divorced and he lives with his new wife. But I heard from dad that he thought this was all hilarious. Uh, oh, isn't it? Isn't it? Well, 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 if it isn't the consequences of our actions speaking for us. All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Not the jerk. Uh, I would have a really hard time faulting OP for being the jerk in this situation. Like the aunt was completely out of line being like, you have to, you have to take, family takes care of family. And after that whole speech, she had the audacity to be like, no, you need to come and get him. Right. And I mean, I think, I think turnabout is fair play in this situation. But I could be wrong. Let me know what you folks think. Not the jerk. Congratulations. You did exactly what Reddit always tells people to do in your situation. If they think helping family is so important, they can take care of freeloading relative. Good job for being kind enough to give him a chance for being strong enough to boot him out when you were fed up. And OP replies, I'm pretty new to Reddit, so I hear that family being obnoxious like mine is quite common, but sort of makes me sad. Yeah, it is actually kind of sad, but I was really happy to see this uh, opposite side of things because it's like, I mean, we've read these kind of stories on this channel. On this channel, we've read that kind of story here before. And uh, yeah, it's like, what are these relatives thinking to like demand this out of someone else, but then they don't ever take the time to like lessen the burden off of someone else? So yeah, I I really have a hard time blaming OP in this situation. I think that that was a good, a great, an excellent course of action. All right, our next letter is titled, Am I a Jerk for Starving and Poisoning My Friend's Kids? That's right, folks. That's right, folks. We're going down this line. Spooky. I don't know. It's not that spooky. I am a 24 year old female and I've been a vegetarian for 10 years and I find that Indian food has some of the best vegetarian dishes. So that's what my diet mostly consists of. Although I do love cooking vegetarian food from all different cuisines as well. So for the past month or so, after my friend, a 36 year old female started a new job, I have been looking after her kids, a six year old male, a seven year old male and a nine year old male from 1130 to four Monday through Friday as she works from 12 to 8 p.m. and her husband, 42-year-old male, from 7 to 3.30. They can't afford childcare. I don't take any money from them for this, and I know they both work minimum wage jobs, jobs and do struggle. So I'm happy to help out where I can. All right, folks, 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 already. We can see that OP is like a saint here. Like, oh, I'm doing this for free. I, I have my own job, but I'm watching after these three kids while also doing my job and doing it for free. During that time that the kids are with me, they have lunch and snacks. Since I'm cooking for everyone, it's usually Indian and vegetarian. Although I do tone down the spices for lunch since they are kids. And as for a snack, I give them fruits and chips and sandwiches with juice and milk. The kids love the food and always seem to have a clean plate. And the older one usually goes in for seconds as well. I have had no issues so far. 
Well, yesterday, my friend came over to my house and started berating me for starving her children and poisoning them by not feeding them normal food with meat in it. She demanded that I start cooking them proper food with meat, only using salt, pepper, and garlic, or she would call CPS on me for child abuse and neglect. <laughs> I think we just I think we just won the the aneurysm award here. What's your prize? An aneurysm. <laughs> That's not funny. It's not funny at all. Oh my goodness gracious. OP is poisoning these like you can't call CPS on your own kiss. <laughs> You literally just stop bringing them over to the house. This isn't how CP. This is there's no child endangerment for feeding kids Indian food. Like they not realize the kid their kids in India. What? Where? What? Apparently, her kids now don't want to eat the food that she and her husband are cooking and say that it's bland and keep asking for my food and it's all my fault. I refused and told my friends that I will no longer be able to watch her children, and now she's even angrier with me. And both her and her husband are calling me a jerk, saying that she that they don't have any other childcare options. Well then, maybe you shouldn't have bit the hand that fed you. It's not a question of being able to afford meat, as I work from home as a software developer, and I have a lot of free time throughout the day. But the food that I cook has plenty of protein, carbs and fats, and all the other macros that children never have asked for meat either. Am I the jerk? Uh, should I just buy meat and let the kids make like ham and cheese sandwiches for lunch? I feel guilty that they will struggle to pay for childcare if I don't take care of the kids. Edit an ad. Adding this since I'm being asked this question a lot. The kids are not in regular school during that time. Their parents took them out due a few months ago due to the COVID cases still being high, and it's impossible to have the kids social distance. They are being homeschooled is what I've been told. So they're being homeschooled in the evening by their parents. When <laughs> exactly? Or in the morning. In yeah. the morning? Maybe in the morning. I mean, I, I, this is such a frustrating situation. OP is being a saint here, feeding these kids. And, like, the kids are being brats in the respect that, like, when they get home, they tell their parents that they're not going to eat their food. Like, that, that, and I can understand the frustration of the parents, but that's a far cry from poisoning them. Like, maybe the parents could try some more seasonings, right? And if their foods are bland, then I think the proper course of action would have been like, oh, hey, can you give me some advice on how to season food or some recipes that my kids like? It might be nice to try some new dishes, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be vegetarian food, but if all you're using is like salt and pepper and uh, butter for your seasonings, then it, it does kind of make food a little on the bland side, you know? Some people prefer additional spices, you know? And that's understandable because, you know, spices are, spice is the variety of life, or life is the variety of spice. I think that's the expression, right? So, uh, for sure, I don't think that OP is the jerk, and I think that the kids probably need to understand that, like, their parents are doing the best that they can, and that this isn't really, it's not fair to put the blame on OP, though, right? OP is just feeding their kids and taking care of them for free, and then getting blamed for poisoning their kids like i don't know it's ridiculous and they're gonna call cps and they're gonna call cps like what do they think cps is just gonna be look one look at the situation and be like what are you talking about <laughs> so she's feeding your kids she's feeding your kids she's not doing anything to them other than feeding them and taking care of them you don't have a case <laughs> What does she think CPS will do to her babysitter if she calls them? The worst thing that will happen is that they will say that you can't babysit anymore. Talk about cutting off your nose to spite your face. Not the jerk. Keep cooking what you want. Can you imagine? Our free babysitter isn't giving meat to our kids. Help! After our investigation, we conclude that you would be in your best interest to find other ch child care arrangements. We can't afford that. She has to wash them. Just make her cook meat for my babies who don't even care. Yeah, talk about that. 
And Opie replies, the thing is, when she said that her kids were not eating her cooking at home and were asking for the food that I make, I offered to give her recipes to show her how to cook and prepare things, even things that can be prepared in 30 minutes or less, but that she doesn't have the luxury of sitting around on her butt lazing all day try to cook some weird to try to cook some weird foods this comment is what truly made me mad leading me to refuse to continue anymore and i mean that's understandable like the insinuation here is that op is lazy right op works a job uh, that requires uh, you know skilled labor and i mean the thing is that that it's difficult because like two adults who are working full-time should be able to support their family and their kids like there is no doubt in my mind like they should be able to work hard and support their kids and provide them with adequate child care and the fact that they can't is the real travesty of this story but this is not op's fault and calling op lazy because they have a job that has different skills i think is completely unwarranted all right, folks, I'm going to stop here for a second and do some tea. I only have water today because Brian didn't make me tea. Oh, I didn't make amber tea. That's right. Because actually I'm drinking. <laughs> I'm drinking uh, uh, horrifying tea. That's uh, uh, basically it's mint tea. It used to be mint tea, but it's twice used tea bags because I didn't have time to make actual real tea and I just wanted a hot beverage later earlier in the day so this is just leftover uh half tea from earlier so uh I didn't make amber tea before I started because <laughs> I didn't even make myself tea <laughs> this is very old tea I had a lot of meetings today so I'm like rushing at the end here of the day to try getting everything together so I'm yeah. CPS on you for not making me <laughs> Ah, everyone's gonna call CPS on me for not making her tea. <laughs> oh my. She isn't kidding. We're getting a call from CPS. What part of London is in France? The letter N. <laughs> oh my goodness. These jokes, did you know, did you know that I have an entire book of these jokes? That's a very silly letter in that book. <laughs> and I have a very silly letter in that book. Well, we'll talk about that letter yeah. at some point in time. Uh, we'll do one last story here and uh, that'll call it good, but we're already running out of time. We are over time. This is the special, like sports event last buzzer story of the day free throw story <laughs> and it's titled am i a jerk for ruining my husband's appetite and making him not eat his dinner this happened on friday evening after work and i was tired but i wanted to get all the household chores out of the way before the weekend i was too tired to cook on top of all the cleaning that i was doing so i asked my husband if we could order out for dinner we settled on burgers. When the delivery driver arrived, I was deep cleaning in the bathroom. So I asked my husband to go and get the door since he was just watching TV on the couch. He brings in the food but was annoyed because both burgers were packaged in similar containers so he didn't know which was his. He called me over, but since I had detergent covered rubber gloves on, I told him that he would have to check the burgers for which was his. He opened the first one and lifted the bun with his finger. I saw that it had onions on it. And I said, oh, that one with onions, so that's mine. And he said, blah, as if he was revolted. Then grossly slapped the bun back on it and smacked it and walked away. I was kind of annoyed and said, hey, I'm actually going to eat that. So maybe don't be nasty with my food. And out of nowhere, he starts yelling at me and shouting, fine eat mine then have both burgers since you don't want me touching yours <laughs> maybe i maybe i was wrong about which one was the most confusing story <laughs> i don't want mine because you ruined it for me you can have it and then stormed off without any supper so i feel like i ruined his dinner and he has been completely ignoring me ever since was i the jerk 
And edit, thank you all for so many validating responses. I feel less bad about it, and I have been thinking lots. I've gotten several PMs and comments saying that this was fake, so I wish it was, but this is my life. Here are two. Here is his two-day-old burger as a sort of proof for what it's worth. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, folks. Jerk or not the jerk? Not the jerk. You 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 would have been a jerk, OP, if you had grabbed the burgers with your detergent sludged hands, opened it up, and been like, "This one's yours. Have at it, hubby," and then closed it with your detergent soaked hands. That would have made you a jerk in this situation. But you didn't do that. He looked at your burger and got huffy, and that you that he. What is his attitude here? Like, why? Where? What in the world is he hoping to accomplish with this? Well, Opie's like doing cleaning the entire house, so he has to like look at a couple of burgers, and that's too much. You have one chore, one thing he needed to do: look at the burgers and figure out which one's his. And apparently, that was too much effort. Well, oh, Opie, you must spoil this guy. <laughs> he was just watching TV. He could take a few minutes out of his day to go and look at a burger for crying out loud. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. What kind of story is this? He's too lazy to help and clean, and he has to answer the door. He's annoyed and has to open the box himself and can't stand the sight of onions and storms off. Not the jerk, but you knew that. Get a new husband. <laughs> Reprogram your old husband. I don't know. No joke, I thought OP was going to say that she opened her husband's burger with her dirty toilet hands. <laughs> ah! And I was going to agree with the husband, but this is a little strange. <laughs> Not the jerk, but OP, are you just compiling a list of red flags all in one story? Why are you with this man? Does he keep a chain around your ankle and keep you from leaving? Unless he has some kind of brain injury from the day that this happened he and has never behaved this way before, chances are that your husband treats you like garbage, then has you questioning whether you're the bad guy. I think you should stay with your parents for a while, if that's an option, and then get into therapy. I mean, that's actually a very valid point. Like, this is actually some pretty big red flag behavior on the husband's part. And how, like, if this is OP's regular life, then, you know, I think there's probably a better life out there somewhere, right? I mean, this guy just seems like he's treating OP like garbage, and that's that's not cool. That isn't cool at all. That's on the no cool list of Brian. <laughs> all right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, consider giving me a like. And if you didn't, consider giving me a dislike. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all on Wednesday. Bye. Bye. My older brother, OB, is a bit of bum. He, it's mean to say, but... <laughs> if I have to suffer, you have to suffer with slurps. And when he inevitably loses weather job, if he starts off... Reprogramming Brian. <laughs>